Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. My name is Chris. We are talking more about Arteric stuff here today. We are going to be doing a little comparison from the Noden Windbreaker and the Squamish Hoodie Windbreaker. Um, two very similar pieces, but they do have some differences that we're going to talk about briefly here. So, um, you know, we're going to dive in and, and tell you a little bit about both of them. All right, so first of all, um, I am wearing the Noden. All right, um, this is to me slightly lighter than the Squamish hoodie. Um, now, that being said, the Squamish hoodie is still an incredibly lightweight jacket, okay? <laughs> um, but this fabric feels a little bit um, thinner, a little silkier. This feels a little more durable. Um, I don't want to say rough, but it's, it's, it's not as silky smooth as the Noden. Um, but again, I would say this is a more, little more durable fabric. Both are extremely, extremely lightweight, almost to the point where you don't even know that you're wearing either of them, okay? Um, now, the Squamish hoodie obviously has a nice hood here, okay, and it has an adjustment on the back. I'll put this on in a minute and show you the hood. The Noden, okay, has a hood as well, but it does fold up, you know, roll up and zip up into the collar. Okay, so when you don't need the hood, it's not flapping around on your back, okay? Um, so it's really kind of nice that it, it kind of folds up here. Now, um, before I go further too, I have uh, separate videos on each of these jackets on my channel. So, you know, for a little more specific, a little more information on each jacket individually, you know, check out those videos. Um, but here, you know, we're just kind of going to run over some differences, all right? So, um, again, this hood does, you know, fold up into the collar, and it has a, actually a nice zipper here. And I will just unzip it and show you the hood. So if I unzip it, I can roll the hood back out, pull it over. Now it is a pretty good size hood. It is probably a, a helmet compatible hood because it's, it's pretty good size, right? It's pretty big here. So you probably can fit a small helmet over it and it does have a pull cord adjustment here on the back to cinch it up if you're not wearing a helmet. Okay, a nice brim here in the front of the hood to help, you know, the water repel off, off the front and not into your face. Um, but again, extremely lightweight, okay. Um, this jacket has two nice pockets here on the side, all right. Um, let me just unzip this. Inside the jacket, there are two dump pockets, okay. Um, one over here and one on this side. Now, both of these pockets are really deep, okay? This pocket literally goes from right here, okay, you can see right here, all the way down to the bottom. So it's actually pretty deep. I mean, you gotta reach down to get all the way down inside there, all right? Um, but it's nice. I mean, if you need to store something in there, you certainly have room. The, the jacket also has two pull cords here on, on the bottom on the side that you can pull tight and cinch up around the waist. Um, a little elastic cuff around the bottom half of the cuff here to help, you know, keep it close to, to your wrist. Um, and the top is kind of tapered up, rounded over the wrist a little bit. Um, but all in all, you know, just a really nice lightweight jacket. Um, this material, I, I will say, I mean, it is, it is a fairly new jacket, but it is pretty wrinkly. So I think that if you're going to be like stuffing this thing into a little ball and sticking it into your backpack um, for most of the time, you know, when you pull it out, it's probably going to have a lot of creases and folds and wrinkles and stuff in it. Um, not a big deal, but it's just, I guess, the kind of nature of the fabric. Um, so really nice. To me, I find that this jacket is a little more everyday than mountain, okay? Um, and I just say that because it has such a fine, um, silky, soft, like, you know, uh, face fabric. It's not that rough and durable 
as the Squamish hoodie is. Now the Squamish hoodie is known to be, you know, a piece um, for mountains, okay, in the cold wind chill up in the mountains. Um, it has a, you know, ripstop fabric, as does this, um, but it's just a little more heavier, durable material. So I'm thinking, you know, if you're going to be wearing heavy backpacks or something like that, you're probably better off with the Squamish than with the Noden. Um, maybe if you're doing some trail running or something, the node might be a great piece. Um, if you know you're around town in the city, you're going shopping, you're going on a hike, there's a cool little wind chill. Maybe you put on a fleece underneath this um, and put this on top to break the wind. This is awesome. All right. Um, there is room in here to layer, definitely, okay, it is a soft shell to be meant to be wear, worn with layers. I mean, obviously, I just have a t-shirt on, this fits great. It is kind of fitted, there's not a lot of room, but, you know, any kind of fleece from a covert cardigan to a kyanite to a delta, you know, will fit under this no problem. I've put my um, Atom LT underneath this, I've put my Proton LT underneath this, and they all fit quite comfortably, all right? So, yeah, so that's, that's the Noden, okay? So I think the biggest difference is basically a lighter weight material um, and um, the hood that can go into, you know, zip up into the collar. Um, and also, you know, the dump pockets here on the inside. So let me throw on the Squamish hoodie here for you. Um, the Squamish hoodie is a really popular piece from Arcteryx and it's been around for a long time. So it's, it's a, you know, tried and trusted, trusted piece. Um, that's, it's really, really been a, a great piece. I like wearing this a lot with my, I have a Cerium SL, uh, a very super lightweight down insulated jacket and this fits over it nicely and it's just so light. Um, again, um, a little bit more durable little bit heavier face fabric on this okay but definitely both of these are wind breakers okay they are great at blocking the wind um, this has a nice little chest pocket right here all right um, and I don't believe there's nothing there's nothing inside okay no pockets inside just a very minimalist um, shell, wind shell to put on top of your layers okay um, no pockets on the outside here either Okay, simple, lightweight, windy day, throw this on the top, you're good, all right, <laughs> you're good. Um, really nice hood on this too, a same size, you know, like a helmet compatible uh, hood on this, um, and it does have the drawstring on the back, all right, very simple, simple design, and, and it does its job. So, yeah, so I think that's the biggest difference that I can tell you between the two. The Noden is a little, a little slightly lighter um, and maybe not quite as durable, okay? Where the Squamish hoodie is, you know, a little more durable. Now, I've had this out in the rain. I did a video on the rain, although it stopped raining by the time I had this outside. But I brought it inside and I held my sleeve under the faucet in the kitchen sink. And it was under there for quite some time before the water started soaking through. So really nice, you know, as far as repelling some light moisture as well. Both of these jackets have a DWR coating, so they do have that durable water resistant coating on there. So any kind of light rain, um, light snow, you know, will beat up and, and, and run off the jacket. Um, and a heavy soaking rain, eventually, you know, it's going to soak through. Um, but these are just meant to be shells on top of your layers, okay, to block that wind and just give you that extra skin on top, all right? So yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope it you know helped you out and kind of answered the question for you a little bit, the difference between the two. Um, both super nice jackets. You can't go wrong either way. It just, I think it depends on your use. For me, just personally, I would say this is a little more durable, rugged jacket for mountain use. This is maybe a little more trail running, um, you know, around town, city kind of, just really nice, sharp, lightweight windbreaker. Okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out all my other videos. I got a ton of stuff here for you guys. 
And, uh, um, you know, we'll see you back again soon in my next uh, video. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Goodbye.